How can I help? I can try. Then I suggest... How? How did you get in? Did they send another submersible? Quick, we have to get out of here. We have to get away. No! No, we have no time. We have to leave now. I managed to close the door after they killed everyone else, but I don't know how long it will hold. The cell calf, they went crazy. They started killing anything that moved. Someone must have triggered the defense systems too, because all the droids activated as well. I was one of the mercs the Republic sent down here to find out what happened. We came down and secured the first couple of rooms. There were bodies everywhere. And the cell calf came out, screaming and croaking their fishy little war cries. They're dead. All dead. They swarmed out and over us. There was no way we could stop them, so we ran. But hardly any of us made it. I locked the door behind us, but, but the others had already left in the submersible. The sharks, the Feroxa out there, and worse. I heard an explosion shortly after the submersible left. They didn't make it. Just food for the sharks and the Selkath, like us. No! I locked the door so the cell calf won't get in. If you open it, we're all done for! If you go in there, you're dead. You're all dead! If you want to die, then go. You won't hear me mourning for you. I'll stay here and be safe until some sort of real rescue comes. Where did you go? How did you get back here without being eaten? You just got lucky. Or... or it's waiting for me to go back before eating me. When the Republic sends a real team down, they'll save me. If you're going to go into the rest of the station, don't expect... If you're going to go in there, do it quickly. I'll shut the door... Thank <laughs> you. 
I do? Fishy, fishy, <laughs> come and eat me too. <laughs> you can't get me, little fishy. Nothing here. I'm safe behind my walls. Investigate? You're just like the others. Order for the cell calf. Walk and fish next. Trump, trump, trump. If you can run, you might be fast food. When the cell calf went insane and started killing everybody, I locked myself in here. I'm safe in here. Nothing can hurt me in here. No fishy food for me. No, 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 no. That's what the hammer said. Mercenaries like you, but that day, stuff can eat them, lunchy munchy. Only the ones left in the south part of the base might still be alive, the way the culto is. Few fishies there, and many, many, many fishies in between the water. Don't know. Go ask them. <laughs> when the demon screamed, it shook every mind in the station. We fell to the ground but survived. Fishy fishies, though, they just got hungry. No, no, no. Only the ones left in the south part. No, no. Only the... Bye-bye. Go look for fish. Oh, yeah. 
What can I do? What? There. You're not Selkath, I can see that much. Are you another rescue crew? I'm a merc the Republic hired a couple days ago to investigate. But all we found was a bunch of insane Selkath killing everything that moves. All my companions are dead. The Selkath swarmed over us. There were dozens of them. And they, they looked wrong somehow. Like something had changed inside them. Insane or something. Oh, I'd have gone back to the surface long ago if this complex hadn't been overrun by all those crazy cell caths. There's no way for me to get to the submarine docking bay. I discovered a way to get to the bay and seal off the rest of the base. I just have to find the Colto Harvester they built on the edge of the Hracker Rift. It's got an emergency override to open the doors to the submarine docking bay. And I could get in from the outside. I figured my only chance was to slap on an environment suit, head out onto the ocean floor, and check that harvester out for myself. Besides, it's got to be safer out on the ocean floor than back in there with all those crazed cell calf mutants running around looking for dinner! I'm not spending another minute in this facility. Not with those psychotic fish people all over the place! I'm heading out to the ocean floor right now. It leads to another complex of buildings. Going through them is the only way to reach the Colto Harvester. We should probably stick together, but I won't wait around in here with the cell calf. You can catch up with me if you want, down the hall and through the doors on the right. I'll be waiting on the ocean floor where it's safe. Just 
understand that we have to keep moving. The water is filled with gas. No! Ah!
can't come in here. You'll let the Phyraxa and the Cellcath in. No, stay out! Stay out! I'll let you open the door for those monsters to get in. I'll stop you. I'll suck all the pressure out of the chamber. That'll stop you. Kill them! Kill them now! <laughs> No, no. The Faraxa will get us. No, the Selkath are coming. No! 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 Ah! Ah! No! You... Sammy! Sammy, calm down! I don't think they're here to kill us! Uh, Kono! Kono! Are... are they? Yes. I think they're here to help us. I... I'm sorry for what I did. I don't know what came over me. I, I, I just panicked when I heard someone outside the door. <sighs> Please forgive me. I'm just so scared. We're both just scared. When the cell cat went crazy, I thought everyone else except me and Sammy went mad. We had a few people outside the station when it happened. The frags and sharks just tore them apart. It was, it was like they were frenzied. The next thing we knew, our Cellcath researchers started screaming and, 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 and clawing at everything around them. My team? My team was torn apart and eaten before my eyes. Sammy and me? I, I thought we were the only ones left. We heard the Cellcath outside the doors every once in a while. And strange noises echoing through the base. We thought everyone was dead. Dead or insane. I must have been hysterical. I, I don't know what I can say. I truly apologize for the horrible mistake I was making. I'm Kono Nolan, and this is Sammy. We were scientists working here on the Harakard Rift project. A star map? I don't know anything about a star map down here. But there were some ruins that were excavated when we were digging the foundations for the last section of the Kulto harvesting machine. But we can't go anywhere near those now. Maybe... maybe that's why it all happened in the first place. The work teams were outside in the rift, near the vent. Then there was this rumbling, and my head felt like it was splitting open. 
This this monster rose up from the rift. It was a Firaxa shark, I think. Bigger than anything I'd ever seen before. Bigger than our submersibles. It was like it was screaming inside my head. Then all the Selkaths started screaming too. And they turned on us. It may. It may have been. Maybe it was protecting the ruins by the rift. It could have been. It might have a lair in the Harakard Rift near the Koltel vent. Hmm. That might explain a few things, too. We had no clue at all until it came out. Maybe whatever sort of power it used to drive the Selkath insane masked it from us somehow. Maybe it was lying dormant deeper in the rift. I think it might live there. Live there because of the Kolto. Maybe. That would explain more. Like why it reacted so violently when our construction efforts got closer to the vent. And also, why it's so large. It must be feeding off the Kolto. It would have to be ancient indeed for it to reach that size. But with Kolto as a food source... And all those other Firaxan sharks? Those might be its offspring. Which would be why they all swarmed when it called out to them. Children coming to protect their mother. That would be suicide! It's out there still! Out there, waiting for us. The Firaxan sharks have always been a serious problem. We had some blasters and projectile cannons to defend against them, but they still got some of our workers from time to time. We were working on a soluble chemical compound that would drive them away. Something that smelled or tasted repulsive to them, but we never got it working right. Oh, I think not. Even flawed like it is, it should be ideal for this situation. No, it's not working right. You don't know what it'll do. The repellent we made was supposed to drive Firax and sharks away, but we never got very far in its development. The one we tested instead was violently toxic to them, rupturing their outer skin in seconds and preventing them from drawing oxygen from the water by clogging their intakes. Which is exactly what we need in this situation. Something to kill that monster shark that destroyed our station. But we don't know how else the chemical reacts. We only tried it in a controlled environment. In the open ocean, who knows what it could do? It could even affect the Kolto. We know exactly what it'll do. It'll kill the shark. That's what we designed it to do. You can take this canister of toxin. We were working on it just before the giant shark drove all the Selkath insane. All you need to do is insert it into the main Kolto harvester and have it vented. Get away as soon as you can. We don't know how much worse it'll affect the giant Firaxan shark. Wait, don't! We don't know what effect the toxin will have on the ocean environment around the rift. It could poison the water against all life. It could poison the Kolto itself, even. There is another way. Well, the monster seems to have been driven out by the machinery we installed at the edge of the rift. We've seen it out there on the cameras, bashing itself against the machines. I think if you could destroy the machinery we installed, the shark would calm down and retreat back into its lair inside the rift. I am sure. You can reprogram the harvesting machines to overpressure their self-oxidizing fuel so that the fuel tank canisters will rupture and the entire machine will destroy itself. The hydroleum gas we use is a gas at 1 to 3 million sangin, a liquid at about 4 million sangin, and a solid above that. When it's a liquid, it's very explosive. If you inject enough of the hydroleum gas into the tank, the pressure will be so great that it'll turn to liquid form and start a chain reaction inside the machine. But, but we'll lose everything we've built here. All those years of work! It's better than whatever your chemical will do to the water. What? No! Run, Kono! She's one of them!
How can I help? Manan is a water world. It, it is you. Then I said, What can I do? Ah! 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 
Let's make this. You cannot win. You cannot win. So be I'm here. Yes? You've returned. I was beginning to fear that you too might have been lost. Did you find out what had happened down there at the facility? Insane. What did they do? And why? Something was down there? Living in the rift by the Colto? That's horrible. The entire operation wasted by a disaster we could never in a thousand years have foreseen. What has happened to the facility itself? Were there any survivors? Contaminated? That's... that's much worse than I would ever have thought possible. It might have been better to lose the entire facility rather than damage the culto supply. This must remain entirely secret. We cannot allow anyone to find out that we damaged the culto production. Or we would be banned permanently from the planet. We can only hope that the damage that was caused will go away in time. But you have done your job and helped us in our time of need. And for that I thank you. Oh, and did you end up finding your star map? As you can see, by helping us, you helped yourself. Perhaps we can work together again in the future.
Yeah, what do you want? I don't have as many strange stories like the last one I told you, but I do have a couple about me and the stuff I've done. In one battle above the world of Althea, my unit managed to defeat a force of Althea ten times our own size. That battle gained me command of an entire subsect of my clan. For five days they had managed to hold off our forces, keeping us to the outer rings of their world, preventing us from attacking it directly. My task was to assault one of their flanks with a false attack. The Althiri would be drawn out by the units I had sent in. Once they had surrounded those units, the bulk of my forces would attack from the rear and defeat them in detail. Things didn't go as I had planned. I saw an opening, a mistake they had made in the disposition of their forces, and took it. While fending off our main force, they had let their fleet split in two. The center of their entire fleet was left exposed. I turned my forces and assaulted the center of their fleet, decimating them. Their slow, ponderous ship could not turn to face us without being overwhelmed. It was amusing to watch. They were shredded by the ring. Warriors do not... Another time, maybe, I'll tell you about... Is there something... Is there any... Is there any... Hey, Hey, don't worry. I think are there any you statement. A statement. I qualification. I qualification. Uh that does not answer. There have been numerous repairs and tampering. The fact that my answer. Some of my motor functions can be safely repaired. I have safeguards installed to protect that core. Answer. You may attempt the deeper function conjecture. Answer. Simply tell me that you wish to make the attempt, Master, and I will attempt to... Affirmative. If you believe... Request. I only ask... Statement. As you wish, Master. The first stage is the simple one, and that is access. And now rewire the last three relays. Access complete. I have restored a great recitation. The earliest memory of my last owner specified I am unaware of his designation. He purchased me from an acquaintance. I Explanation. That previous owner is part of memories that are still. Answer. Negative, Master. The human was terminated. Explanation. My former master had owned me for a duration of two standard months before discovering my... The human informed me that a competitor... He activated my assassination protocol and instructed me to kill all those responsible for the competing product. I proceeded to carry out my order. Information. This HK-47 unit is com I will go to whatever lengths. Advisement. Answer. Several of my actuators... My former master was unaware of this, but the competitor was in fact... It did not take long for my master to realize his... Statement. It was nothing, really, master. The majority... I do not know why my master was so upset, really. He was an officer of SizeTech. I would assume that being the sole officer remaining, he would surely be promoted. Objection. Naturally not, Master. As I said, I am incapable of purposefully... My Master was not a smart man, however. While he was screaming and stabbing me, the resulting shock terminated him and sadly destroyed my assassination protocol. Pure luck on his part, I suspect. Statement. I was only doing as... I shut down immediately whenever my Master dies. I can only assume that while I was shut down, size tech was dismantled and I was auctioned off as observation. No doubt my sale price was quite cheap, leading to Yukalaka's purchase. How very demeaning. Observation. So am I, Master. Assessment. I do not believe so, Master. It would require complete dismantlement of... Observation. 
I have recovered knowledge of some other actuators which will enhance my performance, but as for my own history, negative. For now, please excuse me. Statement. HK. Affirmative. Request. Statement. Now close the last panel. Supplication. Perhaps. As. What do you need? Talk about what? The only thing I want to do right now is I'll understand if we can't look for him right now. How can I help? Can I... Ship. They must have been waiting for us in the hyperspace room. We're caught in their tractor beam. Do you recognize the ship? It's the Leviathan. Saul Carrot's vessel. My old mentor. Admiral Kareth taught me everything I know about being a soldier. He was a legend in the Republic fleet, and a hero to me, until he betrayed us. When the Sith attacked my homeworld, the Leviathan, to Saul Kareth's flagship, was at the head of the fleet. My family was destroyed that day, and my wife died in the Sith bombardment. That is not the way of the Jedi. Vengeance, anger, emotion. These things lead to the dark side. I'm not gonna do anything stupid. I, mean, I won't throw our lives away in some mad quest for vengeance, but if I get a chance to kill Saul during our escape, nobody better get in my way. Talk of an escape is somewhat premature, don't you think? We don't even have a plan to get out of this mess yet. I'll admit it won't be easy. Saul's no fool, and he won't underestimate us either. You can count on plenty of guards watching every move we make. Maybe Admiral Carruth doesn't know how many of us there are on board. We all have special talents. Talents we could exploit so that one of us could stage a rescue. We just have to figure out who has the best chance to avoid capture so they can come and rescue us later. It's a long shot, but it's our only hope. The Admiral will be watching the three of us far too closely for any plot involving you, me, or Karth to succeed. It's going to be up to one of the others to get us out of this. Well, if we're gonna pick someone to save our skins, we better do it quick. In another minute, we're gonna have Sith troops marching up our loading ramp. Well, the droid's right. If we disable him, the Sith will probably wipe his memory chips and take him to the junk pile. But if we can rig a backup memory chip with a timer, when it kicks in, the little fellow will be reactivated and he can come find us. Hold on, they're dragging us into the docking bridge. Bastila, Karth, and the crew have been taken prisoner as you ordered, Commander. Excellent. Have you searched the ship thoroughly? Admiral Karath warned me to be on alert for any kind of treachery. We found a disabled astromech droid in the back of the ship. Wipe its memory chips and take it to the junk pile. Maybe we can use some of its parts for salvage. Karth, it has been far too long since we last spoke. I see the recent months have not been kind in your case. I barely recognized you. But I recognize you, Saul. I see your face every night, even as I promise myself I won't kill you for what you did to my whole world. Did you learn nothing in your time under me? As a soldier, you should understand that casualties were unavoidable. This was an act of war. 
but was a cowardly act of betrayal. Your fleet bombed a civilian target into oblivion without warning or provocation, and the blood of those innocent people is on your hands. In war, even the innocent must die. The Sith would not accept me until I proved I had truly turned my back on the Republic by bombing the planet. My wife died in that attack, so, and for that, I swear I'll kill you. You used to be a man of action, not of empty words. Cling to your lust for revenge if you must, but spare me your tired threats. I've heard them all before. You're an insignificant part of these events anyway. Lord Malak is far more interested in your Jedi companions. He has great plans for them. We will never serve Malak or the Dark Side. The Sith will be destroyed, Admiral Carath, as will you if you don't turn away from this path. Your words are brave, Bastila, but the lure of the Dark Side is hard to resist. Or so I've been told. I wonder if your companion is as devoted to the light as you are. Your loyalty is as fickle as ever, I see. Malak will find that amusing, though I seriously doubt he will want you above all people at his side. The Dark Lord would probably reward me if I just killed you once and for all, but he may want to question you given the trouble you've caused him and the history between you. You mean, oh, this can't be true, can it? You really don't know what's going on here, do you? Well, I won't be the one to deprive Malik of the pleasure of telling you himself. The Dark Lord will no doubt torture you for information and for his own twisted pleasure. Eventually, you will tell him everything. The Sith can be very persuasive. However, Lord Malik is in another sector. It may be some time before he arrives, so I suppose I will have to fill in for him until then. Activate the torture fields. <laughs> Enough. I don't want them to pass out before I question them. Malik will appreciate any information I can give him when he arrives. Don't waste your breath, Saul. We won't answer any of your questions. I'm sure you won't. However, we both know your friend's loyalties have proven in the past to be somewhat flexible. I am interrogating you, not the other way around. You will answer questions, not ask them. It is time to put your loyalty to the test. I doubt torturing you will gain me your true cooperation. Your will is too strong to be broken that way. However, even the strongest of heroes has trouble watching those they care about suffering. The interrogation will begin now. Each time you refuse to answer or give me a false answer, Karth will suffer. You expect me to fall for such a transparent ploy? You travel halfway across the galaxy with someone and you expect me to believe you feel nothing for each other? I tire of these games. Now I want answers. On what planet is the Jedi Academy at which you were trained? Alderaan is nothing but a planet of artisans and philosophers. There is no training academy there. You must think this is a game. Very well. This is the price of your resistance. Ah! Enough! You see what happens when you try to defy me. This first question was a test. Obviously, Malak knew the Academy was on Dantooine, and it has since been destroyed by our fleet. Dantooine is an empty graveyard now. Nothing is there but a smoking ruin and the charred remains of your former masters. Brave front, but your feigned indifference does not fool me. Your masters are eradicated, along with any hope of someone rescuing you. Now, tell me your mission. How were the Jedi planning on using you to stop Lord Malak and our Sith Armada? Do you take me for a fool? The Jedi are not assassins. They would never devise such a plan. Perhaps you need a reminder of the consequences of refusing to cooperate. Oh, oh. Ah! Listen, can you not hear him suffering? You can spare him further pain by simply answering my questions. Now I will ask again, on what mission did the Jedi Council send you? Perhaps another lesson is in order. Oh. 
No, I beg you, mercy, no! I am surprised he did not pass out sooner. Rarely have I seen someone withstand such punishment and remain conscious. I see I am wasting my time here. When Malak arrives, you will learn my interrogation techniques are considered merciful among the Sith. I will leave you here in your cell with a small taste of the horrors you will suffer when Lord Malak arrives. <laughs> Don't try to move too quickly. You might not be fully recovered yet. Admiral Carath had his guards continue to torture you even after you passed out. They tortured all of us, though you got the worst of it by far. Saul wanted them to make us suffer. He's become some sort of sadistic monster. The dark side has perverted him, Karth. Once you start down the tainted path, it leads you ever further into the depths of evil. I fear he is forever lost. I suppose you're correct. Sometimes it's easy to lose sight of that hope in the face of such unbridled cruelty. But you speak the truth. I suppose I'm taking the news of Dantooine's destruction quite hard. Plus Taurus, now the Academy. Is there no end to the killing? We should have felt a disturbance in the Force when the attack came. The fact that we did not is a bad sign. I fear the dark side is growing stronger. Casting shadows our vision cannot pierce. I can only hope that some of the Jedi escaped. Rook, and Ah, Sar. I cannot imagine all of them being gone. In any case, we've lost our one place of refuge in the galaxy. None of this will matter if we don't get out of this prison before Saw gets back. Saul mentioned that Lord Malak was on his way. I think the Admiral left to prepare for his arrival, and to report the results of our interrogation. It is fortunate you were able to resist the Admiral's questioning. The fate of the galaxy could be changed by revealing the slightest piece of vital information. I, uh, I have to confess something. There was a, there was a moment, just a moment, when part of me was hoping that you would tell him what he wanted to know, just to make the horrible pain stop. No, I know you would never do anything to intentionally cause me pain, but you had no other choice. You couldn't betray our cause. I, I don't honestly know if I could have been as strong in your position. Watch you suffer like that, I... I might have cracked. Did you feel that? A disturbance in the Force? The Admiral has sent his message. The Dark Lord knows we're here now. Malak is coming. Well, then we better hope T3M4 busts us out of here before he arrives. Karth, it has been far too long since we last spoke. I see the recent months have not been kind, but I did in up with your, your defy the the how <laughs> Enough. Don't uh, it however the My pain is I tire the uh, enough this was... More empty threat. Perhaps you need no. this. Uh, no! I. 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 Don't try to move too quickly. They tore. 
I suppose I'm... We should have... Saul mentioned that Lord Malak was on his way. I think the Admiral left to prepare for his arrival and to report the results of our interrogation. It is... I, uh... No, I, I don't honor... Did you feel that? Well, then we better... Interdictor ship. They must have been waiting for us on the hyperspace route. We're caught in their tractor beam. Do you recognize the ship? It's the Leviathan. Saul Karras vessel. My old mentor. Ad I'm not gonna talk. Maybe Ad. Well, if we're gonna... Since we last spoke, I see the recent months have not been kind. But I reckon, did you learn? In war, my wife died. You used your in We will. Your work. Your loyalty is as fickle as the dark. You mean? Oh, this. The how. <laughs> Enough. Don't wait. I'm sure. 
What are you saying? Physical pain is... It is time to put your loyalty. However, the interrogation... You expect me to fall for some... I tell... Why? Why are you telling him? You should be grateful, Bastila. Words that betray the Jedi. Tell me, how... No, how could you... I find your willingness to cooperate pleasing. Though it seems your answers are quite upset. The information you have given me has been... I will leave you here in your... Ah! Don't try to move too quickly. They tortured all of us, though you got- The dark side has perverted- This is not a matter to joke about. If there is one thing we can learn- I'm sorry, forgive me. I suppose I'm taking the news of Dantooine's just- We should have felt a disturbance. I can only hope that some of the Jedi- None of this will matter if we don't- Saul mentioned that Lord Malak was on his way. I only wish you'd been able to resist the Admiral's questioning. I hope the information you reveal does not bring the entire- I've known Admiral Kareth a lot. The interrogation was a- Did you feel that? A disturbance in the Force? Well, then we better hope T- Thank you. 